Hi everybody. Very quick video today as we take a tour of the other trigonometric functions. So our big ones are sine of x and cosine of x. And last time we talked about what the graphs of those look like. They're very important. Today we'll take a look at tangent of x cosecant of x, secant of x, and cotangent of x. This is sort of a tour today. Um, these are, again, the really big functions you'll be learning and working with. These are not as important. I would say the big takeaway from today is that these blue functions, these other functions, Go to infinity. Infinity at some point. And it makes them a lot less useful. But they're there, and so we're going to take a quick tour of it. Think of this as an actual tour where you're sort of looking out a bus window at these functions. Um, Things go to infinity when functions, the denominator function goes to zero, at least for these. So let's take a quick look at those. The big functions, I want you to ingrain, engrave in your forehead green in your brain are sine and cosine. Alright, out here is 2 pi. I sort of lined them up. Two pi is uh the period, because they do not have anything outside here. If they do not have any B here. Remember there was a, we graphed these as sort of a B here, which makes our period 2 pi over B. Here B is 1, so these period, the period of these is 2 pi. Okay, sine and cosine. Well, what about tangent? Hmm. Uh, loverly picture is sort of in the way here. I don't want you to remember tangent. You're just a tourist today looking out the bus window as we pass through the landscape of other trigonometric functions. One way of think of tangent of x or there's the unit circle way and the right triangle way, where tangent is opposite over adjacent. We use theta instead of x there. Hopefully it doesn't throw you. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. Or it can be thought of as sine of x and cosine of x. Let's take a look at it both ways. And so if we start out here, sine of x is going to be 0 over 1. We start out and 0 over 1 is 0. And concurrently, if, uh, if the opposite side is 0, which is sort of when it's straight out here, the tangent is also 0. All right, then it goes along and sine and cosine goes to zero at pi over two. See if this is two pi, and this here is pi. This is pi over two. Pi over two, we have sine goes to one, and cosine goes to zero. So that can't happen. We can't have division by zero, and similarly to similar to uh, rational functions, that's where we have 
we have a vertical asymptote. This function starts at zero, it gets bigger and bigger. As it gets to sign, it goes off to infinity. All right, if you're thinking of the unit circle, this is, as uh, say it gets bigger and it goes to vertical, tangent goes to infinity. This becomes a very small a over a very big O. And then on the other side of infinity, often this is the only part of tangent we care about. This is a quarter of the whole graph. And that we often, we sometimes, not often, we sometimes use this part of it. When it flips over, A becomes negative and O becomes, stays positive. So O is very big, A is very negative. So we come up from minus infinity. So I'm going to draw pi over here. Come up from minus infinity. It's not the best graph. I was hoping to line these up. So we have very when it's big, slightly bigger than pi over two. It's a very big negative number. So it's way down there. And it comes back up, and where sine goes to zero again, tangent goes to zero. And it does this again. So you get this. This is one full period of tangent. It goes to infinity four different times in two different directions. It's sort of an interesting graph, but and you should be able to recognize things that go to infinity are not going to be sine or cosine. They're going to be tangent, cotangent, or secant and cosecant. All right, that's tangent. Really quickly. If we draw a sine, I'm going to draw a, lot small, a little smaller here, a little sloppier. Again, here's sign. Remember, it's going up to 1 here. If this is sine of x, let's take a look. What is 1 over sine of x? I can remember it's 1 over, co that's cosecant. So in blue here, let's look at cosecant. Okay, so I always have to stop and think whether sine goes with the cosecant. The, it, the prefixes don't match up. Cosecant, secant goes with cosine, sine goes to cosecant. Although judging from the test, nobody had a problem with that. So cosecant of x, 1 over sine of x. So interesting where uh, sine is 0, cosecant is infinity. So there's an asymptote here, or minus infinity. And where sine is 1, 1 over 1 is also 1. So the neat thing about cosecant is it comes down and touches sine at pi over 2. So it looks like this. Smallest value is 1, and then it goes off to infinity and minus infinity and pairs. All right, kind of neat. I don't expect you to draw this or remember it. We're just on a tour today. For completeness, let's quickly do cosine. Here's one full period of cosine. This is one full period of sine. Remember, this does keep repeating, but this is one period. I know some people had trouble with that. Period, it goes up once and it comes down once. All right, what about, so this is cosine of x. Very quickly, let's do a secant of x. Pi, two pi. Let's 
similarly where sine equals 1, cosine equals 1, secant equals 1 over 1, which is also 1. Where cosine goes to 0, there is a going to be an asymptote, and secant goes to either plus or minus infinity, and here they are. They go up like this, and down like Cotangent is 1 over tangent. That sort of is, just looks like tangent, but goes the other way. Sort of. We won't even look, look at this one. So that's secant and cosecant. Um, I'll ask you to do, just for fun, maybe look at some graphs of these and see if you can figure out what their period is going to be. You can see they, if you can sort of draw the associated sine or cosine curve, they, they will have the same values of the period. I'm not going to worry about phase of these and uh, not really amplitude that much. Amplitude is really just pushes these graphs out. If you can, they also go similarly to their related sine and cosine. Okay, that's about it. Just a quick tour of these other functions. Just remember they all go to infinity they're all not as useful as sine and cosine.